House of the Dragon Season 2 finale reveals the identity of the Three-Eyed Raven to be Brynden Rivers, confirming a theory that first stemmed from George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire books. The Three-Eyed Raven, or Three-Eyed Crow, in the books, is one of the most mysterious and powerful characters in Game of Thrones. While he helps Bran Stark learn to use his green sight and, eventually, is replaced by him, little is ever revealed about his origin. It's said that he's 1,000 years old, and that there have been many three-eyed ravens, but the show, unfortunately, didn't get into many specifics about his origins, or powers. One of the flaws with Game of Thrones ending is so little was understood about Bran before he became king, and knowing more about the three-eyed raven could have helped mitigate those issues. Its prequel isn't exactly fixing that but, if nothing else, House of the Dragon Season 2's ending does at least confirm, via clear clues if not outright saying it, the man who became the three-eyed raven before Bran. House of the Dragon revealed the Three-Eyed Raven is Brynden Rivers. Brynden was a Targaryen bastard, known as Bloodraven. In the House of the Dragon Season 2 finale, Demon Targaryen has a vision that includes Daenerys, a White Walker, his own death, and Renera on the Iron Throne. Before all of those, however, he first sees a man sitting almost as part of the Weirwood tree. His name isn't spoken, but he clearly looks like a Targaryen. The way he's joined with the tree is the first hint that this is the Three-Eyed Raven, and the raven that appears as if from him is effectively confirmation, but it's his face that reveals this is Brynden Rivers. The character in House of the Dragon has a red birthmark on his cheek, which is loosely in the shape of a raven. The only character in Game of Thrones history with such a specific birthmark is Brynden Rivers, who was given the nickname Bloodraven because of it. He was one of King Aegon IV Targaryen's great bastards, that is, bastards he legitimized on his deathbed, which would ultimately lead to decades of rebellions from a house formed by one of those bastards, Demon, House Blackfire. Brynden was loyal to House Targaryen, but was eventually sent to the Wall by King Aegon V Targaryen for having Aenys Blackfire, a would-be claimant to the throne, killed. Brynden actually went to the Wall at the same time as Maester Eamon from Game of Thrones, and rose up to become Lord Commander. However, he disappeared beyond the wall, and was never seen or heard from again. It's also worth noting he had with him Dark Sister, the Valyrian steel sword that Demon has in House of the Dragon, which is also missing. Why it's long been theorized that Bloodraven became the Three-Eyed Raven. A Song of Ice and Fire has multiple clues. It is mostly from a dance with dragons that the theory of the Three-Eyed Crow slash Raven being Brynden Rivers comes from, as it provides various clues as to his true identity. This includes, quite directly, him revealing that his name used to be Brynden, and while it's not an uncommon name, there aren't many who fit the three-eyed crow in quite the same way. He says he was once a crow, and the appendix confirms he was once a man of the Night's Watch named Brynden. It would be quite a coincidence for the Brynden who was of the Night's Watch and went missing beyond the wall to not be the Brynden who was of the Night's Watch and became the three-eyed raven, but there is other evidence too. None of this was in Game of Thrones, but the books do provide a lot of strong evidence that Bloodraven became the Three-Eyed Crow. George R. R. Martin has not explicitly confirmed it, but with House of the Dragon showing someone who could only be Brynden Rivers, it is paying off the theory and making it Game of Thrones canon. Since there aren't many other viable candidates, then this makes sense, especially as Brynden will eventually be a character in A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms story, as he appears in the third of the Tales of Dunk and Egg novellas.